If you're a NASCAR fan, I want you to answer this question. When was the last time that a movie that pretty much focused on NASCAR alone was generally loved or at least well accepted by the general public? Something that actually made water cooler talk more than just a documentary here or there. Now, if you have to take a moment to think, then I think we both kind of have the same idea here. It's been a while. And looking back at it, in the last 32 years, there's really only been three main NASCAR-styled movies that have actually broken through to somewhat in the mainstream. You have to look back 32 years to 1990 with Days of Thunder with Tom Cruise, a story about a young driver making his way into NASCAR and fighting the old guard and having to overcome trials and tribulations. You also then have to fast forward 16 years, and there are two movies that come to mind. Talladega Nights, Ballad of Ricky Bobby, which is a comedy centered around Will Ferrell's fictional character, Ricky Bobby, where he has to go through trials and tribulations to find the race car driver he needs to be and kind of fight against the new guard. And then you have Cars. Yes, I know that there's been multiple Cars movies, but the only one that's actually made its way into a mainstream viewing in a lot of ways is the original Cars. A story about Lightning McQueen, who is a young hotshot that's looking to be at the top of his game, going for the fictional Piston Cup, and then having to lose himself physically and emotionally and find himself before participating in a championship race and making his way to the top against the old guard. Are you noticing a bit of a pattern here? All of these movies follow the same basic formula, and all of these movies are very spread out for the most part when it comes to looking back from the modern day. 16 years to Talladega Nights and Cars, and 32 years to Days of Thunder. So it has me asking, why do we not see more NASCAR movies? I think that that is a valid question to ask, and I think it's a question that if the right movie makers got a hold of it, could really push NASCAR back into the mainstream in some pretty good ways. So let's go right now and look at why there are no new NASCAR movies being made compared to other series like the NFL, the NBA, MLB, NHL, or even racing series like F1. Well, first off, you have to look at how people view NASCAR. While us NASCAR fans view it as man versus machine, people putting their cars and machine everything to the edge of their limits, more often than not, if you are to ask people, especially young people about NASCAR, they're going to think it's a bunch of dumb, hokey rednecks, and it's just stupid idiots running around in circles. That's a lot of the perception and stereotype that NASCAR has, and it's something that NASCAR has never been able to overcome. When you look at NASCAR in the news cycle, for instance, the only time NASCAR makes the news is when someone almost dies, like Ryan Newman in 2020, or when they're in the middle of a giant political fiasco like the Bubba Wallace Talladega news story that people to this day make fun of or something like the Let's Go Brandon incident at Talladega last year. You don't see NASCAR in the news cycle for good reasons. You don't see them in the mainstream for good reasons. And for that reason, many in the general public have really had a negative connotation with the sport. I mean, think about it. If all you see about one particular sport or one particular organization is all the bad having to do with it, why would you if you're not involved in any way with that, view it in a good light. And it's been a really tough road for NASCAR to try and overcome. Looking at Talladega Nights, it literally played off many of those stereotypes, and in many aspects, while NASCAR fans think that they're laughing with them, in reality, the movie and many people are laughing at them. And that's something that people really have carried on for 16 years since then. They view Talladega Nights as what NASCAR really is. And that's what the youngest generation has grown up with, with NASCAR. NASCAR has been pigeonholed by many as the dumb, hokey comedy direction when it comes to making any kind of production. Look at Fox Sports, for instance. They don't even take NASCAR serious half the time that they're broadcasting about them. They make different skits, jokes, whatever. And if the people that are actually showing the sport and paying billions to do so can't take it seriously, 
Why should movie companies that are going to be paying millions and possibly be putting different people's jobs on the line? And look at what the main filming project for NASCAR was and being pushed for was last year in 2021. It was The Crew, a Kevin James comedy show. Not exactly something you'd prefer when you want to be viewed as a serious sport in the American landscape. Now, you also have to look towards trends. And there's really three major trends that I think dictate all of this for NASCAR not having really many pushes into the movie market. Number one is that while NASCAR is sort of stabilized, it's still on a downward trend in the general public. There's not really anything in the mainstream culturally about NASCAR anymore the way that there was when Days of Thunder came out or when Stroker Ace came out or when Cars and Talladega Nights came out in 2006. It's a different world and NASCAR has slotted in at a lower slate than it was in any of those years in the public eye. It's not growing anymore. It's happy to be stable, let alone grow. Then you have to look at what is growing, and that's Formula One. When it comes to a younger audience, we've said it over and over again, I'm sure NASCAR fans are sick of hearing it, Formula One is going right now to grow at an exponential pace, and I wouldn't be surprised if F1 movies start popping up in America in a lot of ways. And it's because younger people are jumping on that. While the Monaco Grand Prix was ripped on for being pretty boring and having a bad rain delay, when you look at the percentage of people in the key demographic, 18 to 49 year olds, they had virtually the same amount of people percentage wise in that audience that the NBA had. Grant, the NBA had a larger audience overall, but the NBA is one of the biggest properties for the younger generation. So for F1 to match it in that way and for the growth of it to be propelled in America by that young generation proves it's going to be probably a longer standing property than something like NASCAR would be, which only got 19% of their audience in the 18 to 49 demo. And then you have to look at the trend that movies are going. Right now, a lot of people rip on movies because, well, to be completely honest, the big chains and the big ones only show sequels or adaptations and nothing really that original. Going into the summer right now, the most anticipated movie is the sixth Jurassic Park. And while you may like that, I may like that, it shows that originality is definitely a dying breed in Hollywood. So. Studios, especially big ones who could get a big movie kind of like this for NASCAR out there, would be much more hesitant or just downright deny the opportunity to do this. And on top of that, movies are going towards whatever is the easiest carbon copy way, similar to what Marvel does, to get their movies, their properties, and the most money out of foreign markets. And that's just something NASCAR is not equipped to do. And the last reason I want to give in general for why NASCAR movies won't be made, or at least they won't be made in ways that NASCAR fans probably would prefer, is that NASCAR movies and the racing in racing movies generally takes a backseat to the drama. And a lot of times you can remove a lot of the racing content from less equipped and less good movies than the classic ones or the really good ones that we see. And that's really the pit that NASCAR falls into. NASCAR, if it's wanting to build its brand and audience off of a movie and have movies made about it, needs to find a way to help integrate itself into the storylines of movies that would be made. Because what's the point of making a NASCAR movie if 70% of that movie is not even about the track or at the track and instead is a love story or a comedy or a finding their way movie? That's no disrespect or saying that the movies are bad, but in the sense of being a NASCAR movie, there's really no point to it. And I think a lot of studios, directors, writers, whoever see this. So they need to have the right kind of writing to really make it in a good way and still make it a NASCAR movie in every sense of the word. So I think that's why we don't see many NASCAR movies. But if we were to, how would we see them? Well, I think there's two ways nowadays that you can really get into it. Number one is by doing different adaptations of books or stories that have a lot of weight to them. And a lot of these are probably not going to have much to do with the racing product. So for these, I have two people that would be really, really good to make a movie adaptation about, and especially in a drama or maybe even a thriller. 
The first one is Jeremy Mayfield. Jeremy Mayfield was suspended by NASCAR indefinitely in 2009 and was accused by NASCAR of taking methamphetamines and had a huge battle with them because of it. Mayfield to this day has never been allowed back into NASCAR and I think that this would be a really good movie that be kind of a gateway in. and then another one is one that I actually made a video about on this channel and that is Angela Harkness who had an insane story coming over from the Middle East to America having different lines of work that were uh, well let's just say not family friendly starting a race team as basically a money laundering and Ponzi scheme, and then escaping America overseas to try and get away from being arrested. It sounds like a great story for a movie, and I'm pretty sure that most people would like that one. So where I say a nice NASCAR movie could be made would be in that of a fictional character. Have someone who's a young upstart trying to make their way to the top of NASCAR, having to learn their way through the sport the intricacies of it, different things like the underbelly of NASCAR, things that people might not talk about, the ugly side of the sport, sponsorship, stuff like that. I think that doing something like that and having a story that revolves around the racing itself as well as the character could really help this be a NASCAR movie that's on par or maybe even surpasses Days of Thunder in the eyes of many as the best NASCAR movie and the most widespread one. You need a good actor for it, you need good writing for it, and I think you would need people from NASCAR, like drivers, involved to tell you basically what's real, what can be kind of embellished, and so on and so forth. But now, that's all I have to say. That is, in my opinion, why NASCAR movies are just not seen much anymore. Now, I want to pass it on to you, and I'll ask you a bit of a fun question with this one. What's your favorite NASCAR movie? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're at it, leave a like on this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel for more great NASCAR content like this, and to all my channel members, thank you so much for all of your support. So until next time, have a good one.